Hello guys and welcome back to the second After Effects tutorial. This week we're going to be focusing a bit on 2D tracking in After Effects. Next Wednesday we're actually going to be doing a bit more in depth about 2D tracking and 3D tracking mainly in CS6. But this week we're just going to be doing a little bit of 2D tracking in After Effects. Uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our source clip that we're going to be motion tracking. Next we're going to go to Layer, New, Null Object. Uh, this null object has no, uh, you can't see it at all in the final result, so you don't have to worry about seeing some square object in your final clip. But uh, I'll explain more about this object in a little bit. So what we're going to do, make sure our motion, our uh, source clip is selected. We're going to go to track motion. Going to make sure the motion source is the clip you're going to be tracking. Current tracker, we're going to leave that tra uh, track type. We're going to leave it transform. Uh, if you want to go to stabilize, just to stabilize your motion. Uh, if you got a real shaky camera and you want to stabilize that, you would go to stabilize. But in this case, we're just going to go with transform. Uh, down here, you can see you have position, rotation, and scale. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to use position because if we, as you can see, if we select rotation and or scale, it's going to give us two tracking points and that's necessary to, you know, calculate the rotation of a clip and uh, the scale. So for this, we're just going to use position. Um, you know, if you want to use scale, that would be useful if you're zooming into an object during the shot and rotation, obviously, if you're rotating the camera around then you're going to want to use those, but in this case we just got, as you can see, just a slight bit of uh, motion going on, so we're just going to use position. Next what we're going to do is we're going to drag the track point onto an object that we want to track. Uh, normally this wants to, you want this to be a place of high contrast, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this water fountain here, and we're going to select uh, that, so this inner box is the source, this is the direct object that you want to track. This outer box is the area that After Effects is going to search in. So as you can see, I have this inner box centered around that water fountain. And as the clip moves on, After Effects is going to track, and each frame it's going to look for this, look for this uh, arrangement of pixels in this area of, bo of uh, in this track area. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated, but we're going to move on. So next, we are going to go to Edit Target. We're going to make sure that it is set to the null object going to click OK. Now we're going to analyze forward. As you can see, After Effects is looking for uh, ide like pixels around in this area, so we're only going to go a few seconds just for uh, time's sake. But as you can see, this is tracking quite nicely. If you had a shot, you know, this shot was shot specifically for the purpose of tracking motion, and your shot may not be like that, so you may have some problems with this, but just keep in mind every time you're doing a scene, keep in mind whether or not you're going to be doing motion tracking and uh, uh, plan accordingly. So that should be good. I'm going to click stop. We're going to zoom out here so we can actually see the whole thing. We're going to. Uh, so now this is done. We're going to click apply. Uh, we're going to apply dimensions X and Y. That's X is across, Y is up and down. Uh, you can do X only and Y only, but for this purpose, obviously, we're going to do X and Y. So click OK. Now what that has done is that has applied all our uh, tracking points and you can see that our null object is hooked on to the water fountain. So what we're going to do now, we have to attach this motion to something, right? So what we're going to grab, we're just going to grab this quick clip here. This is just, you know, of a person dancing. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the area that we want. You can see this is a rather long clip. There we go, that's fantastic. So what we're going to do is going to hit the S uh, key. It's going to bring up our scale on that thing. So we're going to drag the percentage down a good bit, about right there. Now you can see that there's black. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to blending mode and we're going to go to add. Alright, so as you can see that's removed all black from the clip here, so we're just gonna let me bring the scale down just a tad bit more. I'm gonna place it right here. So now we're gonna drag this parent icon, that's the little loopy thingy, under the parent 
place so we're gonna drag it to the null object it's gonna link all motion tracking information to the video clip that we're gonna be applying the track to so what we're gonna do is we're just going to render this out real quick and my computer is awfully slow but as you can see it is applying the track to uh, this dancing guy right here and as you can see it is sticking right to uh, the fountain now obviously you don't have to stick him right here you can put uh, your your uh, object wherever you want you could put it over here you could put it over here all that matters is that we have the tracking point right here and that once we parent uh, the null object to that clip it will stay and as you can see we've uh, surpassed where we have tracked but as you can see for the first couple seconds at least it is nice and tracked so thank you for watching this after effects tutorial uh, next week as i said we're going to be doing a little bit of 3d tracking so look forward to that until next time see ya